Hello, what's up? I'm Zach, and this is 90 Second Church, which, by the way, if you want to get notified when these come out, uh, you need to subscribe or click the bell on YouTube or follow us on Facebook. But let's go in. Today's story is Mark 7, verses 24 through 30, and here's the gist. Jesus retreats from the crowds by entering Gentile territory, where he comes across a woman who requests healing for her demon-possessed daughter. Starting at verse 27, since she was a Gentile, Jesus told her, first, I should feed the children, my own family, the Jews. It isn't right to take food from the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied, that's true, Lord, but even the dogs under the table are allowed to eat the scraps from the children's plates. Good answer, he said. Now go home, for the demon has left your daughter. First off, yes, Jesus called her a dog, but let's read the room. No malice is intended from Jesus. After all, he willingly and joyfully heals her daughter. The woman doesn't appear hostile or offended either. If anything, this is a conversation is a quick back and forth, but the point is this. Nobody in the story appears to be insulted, and so we, as modern readers, shouldn't be either. So, let's move forward and dive into the significance of this story. Jesus lays out his role. He is the Messiah of the Jews, and so he must attend them. But the woman recognizes the grandness of Jesus' position. To further the metaphor, if the Jews are the children and the Gentiles are the dogs under the table, that makes Jesus the head of the house. And with the return of the master, the entire household, children and dogs alike, flourish. This woman grasped a key concept of God's kingdom. It's not about who you are, but who he is. And the same concept remains true to this very day. See you next time.